something that triggers me quite a bit whenever someone finds out that I am in sports and also from Atlanta, when they immediately start talking about how terrible fandom is in Atlanta. I would love a documentary that just sort of recounts all the terrible things that have happened to Atlanta sports <laughs> and why we are the way that they are. Because after the Braves won that World Series, it was all downhill from here. I mean, we traded away Dominic Wilkins and we went up 2-0 in the damn Bronx, and then we came back and lost every single game after that. And we had our face of our franchise go to jail for dogfighting. And we had <laughs> Brett Favre as an actual Falcon, and he was traded away. And there's 28 to 3, and the list just goes on. Eugene Wait, Robinson, like, just there it what is. are you talking that about? That, like, that so one, man of the year. This, come on, it's two and Tom of Iloa, and then it's Jalen Hurts again. It's like, what is happening? So, can someone please just recount all the terrible ways it is to be an Atlanta sports fan so that you all will leave me alone about how much we suck as fans? NFL Man of the Year, Eugene Robinson, caught yeah. in a prostitution sting. I had the Super Bowl, uh, Dan. That's yeah, a whole right before the Super right Bowl. There. Yeah, and Biscayne Boulevard, dirty. Pablo, how about you? I am going to actually make a formal pitch for a film that would be the opposite thematically of what Ella just described, because this is the greatest moment in my life. It is the greatest moment in the last two decades of the New York Knicks. This is the greatest moment in the history of Asian American sports, because in two years, Dan, it'll be 2022, which is 10 years, a full decade since Linsanity. And I know there have been documentaries out there about this. I know I've been in one of them, but there is oh, so much more to God. say, oh, there man. There's so much there more to say. No, there it's isn't. Masculinity. Okay, okay. No, no, no. It's no. New York. It's the no. story no. of the young reporter. No. It's no. no. Who knew this guy? No. He then wrote two straight no. cover stories. You're no. just looking what for work. Horatio Alger's story that would be about that young, intrepid journalist. <laughs> It was 17 days, and it's the last journalism you did before you fully became a gas bag. How dare you? You guys, <laughs> you guys could have been in this documentary because it ends with me doing this segment. It would be real meta, but now you guys are just on the wrong side of history. Congratulations, <laughs> you're out of the film.